So hi everybody, this is our first video. This is a mechanical engineering design video. This is about how to design a horizontal screw conveyor. This is for step one and step two. So there's a given data, the type of material brewery distillers green with spent. It has a given density of 50 pounds per cubic feet and the capacity needed for a screw conveyor is to convey of 47,500 pounds per hour and it has a length of 16 feet from center line of inlet to center line of discharge and the degree of incline for the screw conveyor is 0 degrees, it means horizontal. So this is the type of material used to convey in this design of screw conveyor. Step 1 is to locate the bulk material characteristics in the mat bulk material table of the engineering design guide and book so this is the data so as you can uh, remember a while ago so the type of material is same so this is the basis because it still on the data given in the table is brewery and distillers great with spin so the type of material particle size is minus one half inch or smaller so the density is the range from 40 to 60 pounds per cubic foot which is the given data uh, previously in the first slide is 50, 50 pounds per cubic feet which is the actual so the design through loading of this type based on the density is 30A so the 30A or 30% so it has a given First power factor or material factor 0.8 so the component bearing and series type is C1 or C2 so the characteristics of the material is abrasive with as abrasiveness is type 1 so corrosiveness type 1 and the flowability is type 4 so all of these characteristics will be uh, taken or will be uh, considered during the whole process of the design of the screw conveyor. For step two is to determine the screw conveyor size and speed based on capacity. So. The bulk material type, the bulk density, the capacity, and the conveyor length, and the type of degree of incline is given, as you can see on the data on the, on the screen. So, based on the table, so the bulk density of 50 feet, 50 pounds per cubic feet. So lies on the uh, range between 40 to 60 feet so the throw loading design is 30e or 30 percent so it has corresponding fac material factor of 0 0.08 and the type of component or bearing series of the design is c1 to c2 Step 2.1 is compute for CFH and EC. So what is CFH and EC? CFH is the required capacity in cubic feet per hour. So it is a formula of material flow rate in pounds per hour divided bulk density. So 
and the AC is the selection capacity in cubic feet per hour which is equals to CFH times CF so since based on the table given so for this design we consider that the pitch of the scrocombeor as well as the diameter is equals in uh, dimension so therefore cf equals to one so as you can see in the highlighted red and the table so standard pitch yung that's we consider so pitch equals diameter so capacity factor equals to one so we now we can now compute the cfh which is the given of 47,500 divided 50 pounds per cubic foot which is the pounds per cubic foot is the bulk density so we get the CFH of 950 cubic feet per hour and the selection capacity so with the formula of CFH times CF since the capacity factor is 1 so selection capacity equals to 950 cubic feet per hour step 2.2 determine the screw conveyor diameter so the selection capacity will be used to select the proper screw conveyor diameter and rpm so we refer to the capacity table in page 46 of the engineering design guide so from the design data since the percent through loading is 30a and the calculated selection capacity is 900 feet cubic feet per hour so you can see that in the capacity table so we must choose the nearest capacity in cubic feet per hour at maximum rpm so therefore at maximum rpm since the computed uh, capacity is 950 so we might choose the nearest which is 1161 rpm and as you can see on the table so for the 30 percent a or 30 a in a throw loading so we can now consider that the screw diameter is 12 inches and the capacity in cubic feet at one rpm is 12.9 12.9 so this data we consider this in the computation on the next slide so we now get the conveyor screw diameter of 12 inches at capacity at uh, maximum capacity at rpm of 1161 which is the nearest to the computed selection capacity that we have of 950 cubic feet per hour so capacity at 1 rpm is 12.9 cubic feet per hour so this data will be used in the computation along the way step 2.3 is compute the actual conveyor speed s so the actual conveyor speed s is equals to selection capacity divide capacity at 1 rpm so since we have the data already as we have taken from the previous slide so therefore we got the actual conveyor speed of 73.64 rpm which is from the selection capacity divided by the capacity at 1 rpm so in summary, we have now the required capacity in cubic feet per hour of 950 cubic feet per hour. The selection capacity of 950 cubic feet per hour also. 
and the actual conveyor speed is, is 73.64 rpm so if you ask why is it the selection capacity and the required capacity is the same because as you remember in the the formula of the selection capacity which is cfh times cf since cf is capacity factor is one because we consider this design the standard pitch of the screw flights so pitch and the diameter is the same so the capacity factor is one so that's the end of the first video which is step one and step two for please continue to watch for the step three and step four in the next video so hello everyone thank you for watching so please like subscribe and kindly hit the notification bell so that you can uh, update for the other videos.